Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Stardew Valley. Last episode we were doing the night market, which I did visit a couple more times off camera. I was able to get some pretty cool paintings. Uh, you get a unique one each time you visit. And this episode I'm going to be cutting out any kind of grindy kind of stuff, or most of the grindy stuff. And just show, kind of show the cutscenes and the new, the new content that we haven't seen yet. Because I've got about 20 hours of footage now that I need to edit down because I've been addicted to this game. Uh, this next scene is when I was out chopping, looking for hardwood. I encountered this bear, which is kind of neat. Which reminds me of a YouTube video I just re-saw recently that got re-recommended where this guy is just sitting out in nature and this bear walks up. I think it's a bear nature photographer. And the bear just kind of sits down. So this is kind of like that YouTube video. <laughs> we brought him some maple syrup. He seems very happy. Hopefully he eats that and not us. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> That's exactly what I would be doing. Actually, I'd be probably not talking to a bear at all. I wouldn't get close to one. Oh, we got new knowledge. What do we got here? Salmon berries and blackberries are now worth three times the gold. Oh, nice. Back to the regular good old chop in here. Oh, I cut it out. We're gonna do some community center turn-ins. Slowly working our way through these. So we had to hand in some sturgeon here. Got one of the sub glittering boulder tasks done here. What do we get? Uh, a dressed spinner. It's a nice fishing tackle. Increases the bite rate. It's good. So what do we got left here? Sunfish and catfish and ghostfish. I think I know where I need to get the ghostfish. We'll maybe try to get that done this episode. Duck feather. We gotta raise some ducks. Apples are gonna be tough. We're gonna need to grow some apple trees or luck out with buying those. Also need our lucky rabbit's foot, so we need to start growing rabbits. I think we need to do some upgrading first. Over a little rabbit hutch. Yeah, I'm up here because there was a quest for Linus to collect a bunch of trash. That's what we're doing here. Clean up the uh, lakes for him. Yep, yeah. Linus is happy. That's good. Okay, we're on to another new day here. How's the weather? Snow? Not surprising. We're in the middle of winter. Giving gifts on the birthday. Yeah, we've been trying to do that. We'll be doing that more and more as we try to get everyone to love us. Go do a little bit of redecorating here. The bedroom's like a little bit of an art gallery. I want to put some more windows in my house eventually. We got a new recipe, fiber seeds, from that getting better relations with Lance. And another, another thing from Linus, sashimi recipe. Should be tasty.
And we got a basically a farming grant from the town here. Holy, we got a lot of mail today. Feast of the Winter Star is coming up. With a secret gift exchange. Okay. Who's our who's our special friend? Evelyn. We have to find something for Evelyn. Something she'll she'll like. And her birthday's coming up too. Hmm. And Feast of the Winter Star, there it is. Still 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 some time to go. Oh, there's a cutscene. That water's gotta be freezing. Surprised he's swimming in the uh, iceberg, iceberg lake. Probably let this quarry grow back a bit before we hit it again. Wait for a lucky day. Plant some of our winter seeds, the only thing that'll grow in winter. We don't have the greenhouse unlocked yet, so. Doing everything outdoors. Time for bed again. Like I said, I'm cutting out a lot of the stuff. Oh, we got leveled up here. We can make the farm totem, that's pretty handy, so we can warp back if we get stuck in a jam. Okay, we will go. We'll, we'll, we will go through the daily routine here once, just so you guys know what I'm doing. But most days I cut this out because it's kind of the same thing over and over. We visit our little chickens, make sure they're happy, give them a little love, make sure they're fed. I can't wait wait to upgrade the barn so that we can put the auto feeder in here. Zelly, you're in my way. Get out. Yeah, we want to try to automate as much as possible here. Now, during the... Anything other than winter would be watering as well. But I'm going to try to use sprinklers next spring for everything. Okay, how's, how are the cows doing? They're starving. <laughs> guess I should, uh, guess I should milk them. Cool if they made chocolate milk. Oh, I think I missed. Oh well. <laughs> Get that turned into some cheese. We're gonna ramp up the uh, production of both. Mayonnaise and cheese, I think. Good money makers. Especially in winter. Now, I did learn that Vincent likes snails, so we're gonna keep the snails for... for him. As a gift. And our fish pond is doing pretty well here. Uh, we need to give two emeralds to get these guys growing. But we'll do that later. Oh, we got another cutscene here.
Oh, we get to game with Abigail. <laughs> a game within a game. I tried this at the bar and I was terrible, so... <laughs> Probably gonna die a lot here, too. Yeah, I'm definitely the weaker of the uh, two players. <laughs> I like her strategy. She's down in the corner. Started off down in the corner. Okay, she died. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them. This is something we'll have to practice off camera. For the one in the bar, at least. Does it just go on forever? <laughs> and what do these coins do for us? Oh, looks promising. Is there going to be another level? Halfway done. <laughs> How does she know? I think she's played it a lot. Coffee! practice that. Maybe there only is one level and it goes on forever. Okay, skipping ahead here. We want to upgrade our barn. So I realized after the fact that to scroll faster, if your mouse is on the left and you're scrolling left, it goes faster. A little tip there. Now we just gotta fill it with new animals. I think sheep, goats are next. Maybe just goats. Let's try this coffee. Oh yeah, fast, I like that. See some worms. Oh, got some worms. Another new book. We're gonna attempt to do some fishing in the cave here, in the mines. See if we can find anything special. I think there's special fish that go in here. I think a ghost fish might be in here. That is not a ghost fish. And that's not a ghost fish. Who's throwing all these CDs in the in the water anyway? Oh, we got something. We got something. What do we got? That is a ghostfish. Okay, good. Good. Now we skip down a few levels here. We're down down to level 60. I just want to see if there's anything different down here. Oh, this one's a little bit more active. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? Another looks like a ghostfish. Oh yeah, okay. And jumping down even more. I don't think it's going to be ghost fishing here. But all I usually get here... Whoa, that one's too hard to catch. <laughs> that one was bouncing around. I think we need some different lures for him. 
but the rest I get here is just garbage. So I think I need to scale up more. Get some better lures. Maybe try to catch, uh, I think, a fire eel. Okay, we got a secret note here. It looks like... I don't know where that is, actually. But we're supposed to look in some kind of bush at night. That might be the community center. I'm not 100% sure, though. But we got a lot of lore here. I've been letting these books collect up. I'm leaving this in for you guys if you want to pause and read it all. I find it interesting. Skip ahead about a minute and a half if you want to skip the lore. The backstories, the tips. There's a lot of good tips in these books. This goes into the history of the dwarves a bit. I still can't communicate with the dwarf. I don't speak his language yet. What do we got here? Book of Yoba. I think Yoba is like some kind of deity. In Stardew Valley. I see symbols for it, for it all over the place. Next one, what do we got here? Marriage guide. Oh, okay. Before you ask someone to marry you, we gotta start dating. We need a bouquet from Pierre's. And then we'll need a mermaid's pendant. Okay, I'm thinking maybe Emily or Leah in terms of possible future wives. Paid for by Pierre. <laughs> Fisher the Fisherman Act 2, oh wow. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, there's a legend fish. Huge beast. Okay. Snapped my boat in two? <laughs> oh, this is like a Luke and... Oh, I better not spoil. It's like a Star, it's like a Star Wars uh, reference, I think. Okay. We're all caught up on our lore. My husband almost said that my house on fire. <laughs> Rob is not pleased. We came to bring her some hardwood though. Because we had a quest going and we got a new achievement in there. Probably a new, better relationship. Robin's request. Yeah, she wanted some hardwood. Got our skills. Combat. We need to work on combat. And mining. And foraging. And fishing. I think level 10 is the max. Robin loves spaghetti. I'd marry Robin, I think, if she wasn't married. She's my favorite. And we finally got that ghost fish. So we got that all filled in. But we still have more to go here. What did we get? Dish o the sea. Dish o the sea. We need a catfish, sunfish. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're here for Linus's basket. I saw it when I was. Oh, I'm truthful. When I was moving through here before, I saw it over the bridge, so we had to come down and. Retrieve it. I wonder what's in this tunnel. Hmm. Dead end. Hmm. I wonder if that'll. I wonder if we can walk to that zone when this gets unlocked. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to try that when we unlock the bus. Let's see if we can walk to the next place. That'd be cool. There's your basket back, Linus. Happy berry picking in the winter. 
I like, I like his little tent. We got a little cutscene here. Oh, he's so happy. It looks like his outfit's made out of leaves. Maybe we can marry Linus and have him move in with us. I think that would be the best outcome. Oh, he wants to show us something. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell? That didn't sound nice. Okay, fish bait. It sounded like he was axe murdering us. <laughs> we got wild bait. Could be handy. A little bit more lore here. So. Legendary fish. Glacier fish. Angler fish. We'll, I will re review all these notes when we go to actually try to catch these things. Got a few more books here. I already read that one. I'm trying to read the one in front of Abigail, but... I can't seem to reach it. Because she's in the way. Abigail! They're in the way. Okay, we'll read this one then. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Gunther likes the library. Okay, we'll have to, uh... Oh, there we are. Technology report. Crystallarium. This is the thing that lets you replicate gems, which is pretty cool. Spoiler, spoiler alert, we do get one later. Okay, I can't do prismatic shards. I guess that would be too OP. Nice scientific explanation there. Got a few things to donate. Oh, and we got a new reward. Got another rare crow. Must be getting close to completing the series, the set. Gotta check the trash. Oh, maybe not. Okay, back on the homestead here. We are gonna make some room for some crops. Some winter crops. Get ready for spring. Sprinklers. And run in circles. Can't wait to use that bus. Okay, there's I got a, I got a little hidden treasure map here. Okay, I think I'm in the wrong place because that was uh, train tracks, not a road. So we're up by the train tracks here, looking for that secret stash. Should be by this boulder here. Yeah, right beside the boulder. What do we got? A treasure chest. Ooh, that's big. Big money. And the moment you've all been waiting for. The Christmas festival. Winter festival. 
We'll have to talk to everyone. Can't miss anything. Sorry, Feast of the Winter Star. Gotta get the name right at least. Pam is never happy. Unless you hand her a beer. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll hear the legend. No one knows what this star is, okay. Ooh, star drop. We want one. Yeah, that was a short backstory. Sebastian seems to be in good humor. Oh, everyone's happy. That's good. Except for Pam. And maybe Shane. Oh. <laughs> Haley is uh, wanting to do more selfies, I think. What do we want? We want, uh... Hmm. Probably some new boots. Oh, I forgot. George is, uh, always upset with the world. So we got Evelyn her gift. Tortilla. Pretty lame. But who is our secret Santa? Abigail. Hmm. Can't say Santa though. Gift giver. What do we got here? A poppy seed muffin! Just what we wanted. Yeah, I think she's a teenager, so she's not gonna buy us a new pair of boots. What else do we got going on in here? It's a fine art, making candy canes. Okay, you gotta search for the far and wide for the best ingredients, okay. Yawn. <laughs> Gus is putting them to sleep. Uh, poor Clint. We gotta find a partner for Clint. She needs to shave. <laughs> Caroline's drunk on the nog. <laughs> oh yeah, we can buy stuff. Some festive stuff. I think I'll get a tree for... in my house. I would buy the, the rug, but we already have a couple rugs. I'd buy the de decorated tree, but it's five grand. And we're kind of tight on money right now. There's always next year. I think we've talked to pretty much everyone. <laughs> Get to the opening of the presents, that's all the kids want to do. Let's go talk to Linus. Aww. Poor Linus. Yeah, Gus is drunk. <laughs> and he's going on and on about making candy canes. Oh my gosh. I like these little tidbits in the story.
Okay, I think we've talked to pretty much everyone. I think we'll wrap it up here. And head on out. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Skip ahead here. I still need to fill my barn with new animals, so we're gonna get some, some goats. Jorta. Lino. I like Lino. Okay, we're gonna get a couple. Get that goat cheese going on. As mentioned, if you put your mouse towards the left, the screen scrolls way faster. I guess we get another chicken too while we're here. Oh, we can't. Our chicken coop is full. We'll have to upgrade it first before we can jam more chickens in there. Okay, we're just fulfilling a quest here. Gus asked us for a albacore. So, we went and fished, fished one up for him. Try out some different music here. And finally, a little bit of mining before we finish up. Came in here with a very full inventory. Not a great idea. And one final little cutscene with Lewis here. He wanted us to kill a bunch of slimes, that's why we were in the mine. Pretty decent reward for killing six red slimes. And I think we'll wrap things up here. Seems like a good place to end. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.